Hi, this is Javier Encinas. As Deep Concrete 4 has been released, this is an overview of the capabilities of this new version, with emphasis on uh, the new features. Uh, As Deep Concrete 4 is composed of uh, three modules. One is for concrete uh, column design. The second module is the uh, continuous beam design. And the third module is the concrete or masonry uh, bearing wall design. When you need to create a calculation, you just click on uh, one of the uh, buttons. For example, if I want to create a concrete column calculation, I just assign a name to the new calculation, click Add, and this new calculation is added to the tree. In this case, I have created already three examples, one for each of the modules, so we don't need this additional uh, uh, calculation. So I will delete it. So it's very simple. This is the concrete column design form. The left pane is dedicated to the input, the right pane is dedicated to the output. The program works with a series of tab pages. For example, for geometry, you use the geometry tab and uh, enter all the information of the geometry. For uh, uh, materials, same, same uh, thing. For loads, all the loads is, are in this uh, uh, loads tab. The general tab includes some uh, general information of the, of the project. In the right side, the at a glance shows the results in a summary uh, type using one page. So you can see very easily at a glance if everything passes or something is wrong. If something doesn't pass, you're going to see it immediately where, where, where the, the problem is. The contents tab shows the calculations in a little bit more detail. They are grouped for a topic. So you can see all uh, the numbers and calculations here. In the detail tab, you can see the results in much more detail with uh, exposed formulas and uh, references to the code as applicable. So you can uh, check uh, step by step uh, all, the, all the calculations in this, in this tab. And finally, in the diagrams uh, tab, you can see uh, the interaction diagram graphically that is generated uh, by the program that shows the uh, capacity and the design uh, interaction diagram. Also, the 3D interaction is, is shown. Basically, uh, in the uh, geometry tab, you can input the dimensions and uh, the rebars. In the materials, you specify the F prime C for concrete and F Y for uh, for uh, steel, and also a couple of uh, different uh, stress strain relationships. The column can be biaxial or uniaxial. In the load combination, you can specify a series of nominal load cases, and the program internally combines them, or you can specify uh, one single set of pre-combined loads. Uh, so it's a single point in the interaction diagram or a series of uh, load cases and uh, the program combines them, which is uh, multiple loads in the interaction diagram. Uh, includes uh, dead life, roof life, snow, wind and seismic, both uh, actual loads and moments. Uh, the program internally amplifies the, uh, the moments according to the, to the code and according to the loads and it's shown in this table. The load combinations. The program uses the S7, 10, or 16, and uh, 0, 05 combinations. You can just click on there and uh, the combinations are shown. Or you can use a user defined load combination. This is a new feature in this, in this version. For example, you can enter in any, any number that you want here, for example, 1.5. Likewise, you can specify any load factors, save it, and assign a name, and you have a load combination that you need. Uh, you may need later for another project. This is very useful for uh, uh, load combinations in, in other countries or uh, slight variations of S7 combinations. Uh, for example, you want to check another special combination for any for any reason. You just create a new set, save it and you use it for your project uh, now and in the future. The program generates a print preview of the contents report, 
which is a pre-formatted report. Page two, page three, and page four. So you can uh, print out this or, or uh, share it with your uh, team members or your checkers. It's a very handy way to share the information. Also, you can uh, see the detailed report. Page one, page two, three, and four. So this is the concrete uh, column design module. Let's go back to the project manager and let's open the concrete beam design example that I already created for uh, uh, illustration purposes. This module includes uh, several types of, of uh, beam sections, uh, rectangular, T-beam, L or inverted L or spandrel beam, inverted T and L-beam. Here you can enter all uh, the information. For example, this beam is 12 by 24. It's only three spans. Uh, you can specify up to five spans and two cantilevers. For the end supports, can be either pin or, or, or fixed. In the materials, again, you can specify uh, F prime C for a concrete, F Y for uh, for uh, steel, and in the in the loads tab. You can specify either a number of load cases to be combined or uh, just one set of pre-combined loads. Uh, this new feature includes uh, multiple types of loads, uniform, variable loads, like that, concentrated loads, and moments applied in anywhere in the span. And for each of those type of uh, loads, uh, the load cases include dead, life, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. So you can specify a multiple types of loads uh, anywhere in the span. There are also some ways to uh, expedite the input uh, of information with uh, copy loads to other segments and, and so on, so that you can uh, get whatever type of loads you are applying. For example, in this case, I'm specifying uh, some uniform loads for uh, dead and for life, which uh, are shown here. And uh, I specify also some concentrated loads, also day and life. So for the load combination 1.2 dead plus 1.6 life, uh, we have this, uh, this scenario. The beam elevation that shows all the loads, of course, already factored for this combination. And you can see the shear diagram and the moment diagram. In addition to that, if you click on the, these squares, which this shows phi mn, this will show the uh, moment capacity of the beam right now, according to these rebars that are shown here. You know, you can change the rebars accordingly number of rebars, number sizes, uh, lengths, or, or whatever. The same applies to, to the shear diagram. Uh, according to, uh, to these stirrups uh, that are shown here, number three at 12, well, we have this blue capacity there. Of course, we have a deficiency here, right? Because the, uh, the capacity is less than the moment diagram. So we need more capacity here, more capacity there, and, and, and so on here. Same thing for the for the shear. We need more stirrups here, more stirrups there. Well, we can do that manually there, but uh, now there's a new feature in this version, which is called the Beam Design Manager. Simply you specify the rebar size that you want to use. For example, I want to use number sixes for this beam. I put there number sixes for all, all these rebars. And I want to use number three for stirrups and only two legs per stirrup. When you click design, as if concrete will try to design the rebars to make sure that the capacity covers all these deficiencies that are shown there. So click on design. Basically, this is the first attempt of as if concrete to make this work. Obviously, there's a problem here, maybe a, a problem there and so on. So this is something that we, we can fix manually, but at least the rest of the moments are covered and here probably we need to fix it as well, but the rest are okay. So let's go back to, 
to the rebars. Here, obviously, we need some rebars extending more to the support. This is a positive moment, so we need a, a bottom rebar. So let's go to the bottom rebar for the span number one. Span number one, bottom rebar. Instead of starting at four feet, let's start in at uh, two feet. And there we are covered. Maybe we need to go one foot and so on. So we are covered here. The rest is fine. Here we have another problem. It's, it's at the uh, third span, span number three. And that's the bottom uh, rebar. Uh, so we need to extend instead of 21, probably 20, 24. Yes, 24. So that covers the design. So we know that with these uh, rebars shown here in this example, we are covered with uh, requirements. Regarding the stirrups, let's go same thing. Let's go to the span number two and let's fix this issue here. Span number two. We are interested in the right end here. We need more more stirrups there, maybe eight. There. It's fixed. Here probably we need a couple more stirrups. Is the span number one. In the right end as well. We need eight stirrups instead of six. So we have more capacity there. You can see how easy it was to design the rebars with this new feature, the design manager. I only specify the bar sizes and click design and the program try to do the design internally. And uh, you know, if there are some deficiencies still, there are minor minimum uh, changes that I needed to do. So I completed the design very quickly, in, in, in probably in less than three or four minutes, this beam is completely designed. In the construction uh, tab, you can see the rebars that we just designed. In a, you, know, you can uh, print out this and uh, give it to your, uh, to your drafter and put it in the, in the drawings or uh, include it in your calculations. Also, you can see uh, the contents report in preview. So you can see all pages at the same time. So this covers uh, the concrete beam design module. Let's go back to the project manager and go to the uh, third module, the concrete or masonry bearing wall. Let's open the calculation that I created. I created a masonry wall, which is eight inches block. Number four at 16 is not solid routed and it's only one story uh, uh, wall. In the previous version, we only had concrete concrete wall like this, and we had only one story walls. Now, two story are included like that, and can be either concrete or masonry. Okay, the load cases that are covered are dead, live, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. You can input uh, vertical loads in a, uh, uniform or concentrated they can be eccentric with respect to the center of the wall you specify the eccentricity there and specifically for the concentrated loads you can specify the spacing this is very useful when uh, you're trying to model joist or uh, double t's uh, concentrated loads on, uh, on on your wall and for wind uh, in addition to the gravity load you have uh, the wind pressure, which is a lateral aeroplane uh, load on the wall. Finally, in the graph tab, you can see uh, the three diagrams for a shear moment and axial. And uh, here, the interaction diagram generated for, for the wall. This is the nominal interaction diagram. This is the design interaction diagram. At the bottom, there's a blow up of uh, the interaction. For a masonry wall, you just change the type of wall there and you can see the interaction diagram for a masonry wall. The program complies with uh, ACI 318, 14 or 11. Uh, the load combinations for SS7 either 10 or 05 uh, or user defined and uh, the masonry design TMS 402 16 or MSJC 13. 
So you specify uh, the code that the program needs to comply to. Okay, this was a quick overview of the basic capabilities of this uh, new version 4 of Fast Deep Concrete. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for your attention. See you next video.